Suggestive selling is one of the most important things you can teach your staff. And it doesn't come easy for many people. So you really have to show them how to do it. You can practice with them, you can role play with them, or you can even write scripts for them. So let's see how that works when you're using your staff. I'd like to purchase this candle. Oh, great. This is a wonderful scent. You know, we carry these in car fresheners too. Please add that to my purchase. I will definitely do that. Thank you. Now what you also might want to do is do the exact same thing but reverse the roles so your staff can see what it's like to be the customer. I'd like to buy this candle. Do you know we also have this in a car freshener? Oh, I'd like to add that to my order. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thanks. Another way to increase suggested selling is to be observant. Watch what your customers are wearing, see what they're doing, and figure out a way to start a conversation with them. That's a lovely scarf. Oh, thank you. You know, we just got a shipment in that is very similar to that. Let me show you. A third tip for increasing suggestive selling is to simply ask questions. Think about what time of the year it is, if there's any holidays coming up, and ask your customer some of those questions, again, to start the conversation rolling. Hi, welcome to our shop. Thank you. Do you have big plans for Easter? Yes, I do. I have my family coming over. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, we have some really great new runners and centerpieces for Easter. I'd love to see them. I'll show you. A good strategy for suggestive selling is to watch for buying signals. Pay attention to customers if they stop and look at a product a second time or if they walk slowly by a display. Aren't these frames nice? We just got them in from an artist in North Carolina. Tip number five is to simply point out product. If you see that your customer is in one of your aisles and they're standing near a display, grab some product that would go on that shelf and walk by them. You can pretend that you're stocking the shelf again, or you can pretend that you're actually just grabbing some things to take to another area. But the point is you wanna be in that same section of your store with your customer, again, so you can engage them in conversation. Are you finding something you like? These frames are just on sale today, so they're a really great price. One well-known selling technique is to determine the objection and then figure out a way to meet it. So maybe a customer is looking at a product, but they're unsure of the price. You could go in there and ask them what price range they're thinking about today, um, and then perhaps offer them a slightly less expensive alternative, or you can explain to them how the higher priced item is, has much better value for them. Or maybe they're looking at something that's a real bright color and they're just not sure of that. You can explain to them how a bright color will really stand out in the decor of their home. Tip seven is a very simple tip. Basically, you're just encouraging the sale by letting people know it's okay to buy the item. I'm sure you've probably seen some of those signs that say, your husband called, buy anything you want. Well, it's similar to that. Sometimes people just need to be told, it's okay, go ahead, treat yourself and buy this. One basic but strong tip for increasing add-on sales is to simply have some impulse items at your counter. You can always have them available in a really nice display, but just as important is making sure that you talk about them. So when a customer comes up to place their order, be sure to say, Look at these lovely prayer boxes we got in today. Tip number nine is to help your customers make a decision. So often they're trying to decide between two different products, and if you can go in there and offer suggestions to them, that'll help them buy one of them. I'm trying to decide which frame. Well, where do you typically put your pictures in your house? Um, I'm thinking these would go in my bedroom. Well then actually this one would be really nice for a bedroom because it's nice and pretty and I think it really fits your personality. I think you're right. <laughs> Great. 
Another great way to increase suggested selling is to complement the choices or picks that a customer makes. Everyone likes to feel like they have great sense of style, and if you tell them that they picked a wonderful product, they're more likely to buy it. That's a great purse you chose. I can see that it really complements your style. It actually matches everything in my closet. Oh, great. You know what? I'll buy it. Wonderful. Our final tip for increasing sales in your store is to go that extra mile. So if a customer comes up and is looking for a product and maybe you don't carry that exact item, offer to see if you can place a special order for them. Or perhaps call another store that you're friendly with and see if they might carry that item. Or even suggest that they can buy something and bring it home and try it in their house and assure them that they can always return it if it doesn't work out.